Oh, we're about to go do the Jenny Dixon hitchhiker hunt. After several hours of inexplicable technical difficulties, the team finally head out just before 3am to Wilfred Barrett Drive, a location well known for strange occurrences and paranormal activity. Night's journey has ended, but is this only the beginning? The team has returned home safe and sound, but have they raised more questions than they've answered? Well, we did it, honey. Wow. <laughs> we got lots on camera, lots of BBP. Gosh, so much it would be a three-hour episode if we put it all in. Later on, we went to Will's place for some analysis. Mm -hmm. uh, that was of the group that we didn't actually know we filmed yeah, right. at the time. I mean, you saw something after that which we'll look at in a sec, mm -hmm. but uh, firstly we'll look at what we found out at Will's. Okay. That's the thinnest bit, and then mm -hmm. coming up from the entrance north, over mm -hmm. the bridge at the entrance to entrance north, and then you go past the Lions Park, I mean we're just past that. Yep. We're at the, the skinniest bit of that bit of land, yep. and it goes up Wilford Barrett Drive, up to Norville, up to Norah Head. Here we've got what seems to look like uh, girls crossing the road in, in, a, in a ghostly kind of light fashion. Yeah, there's Which, one taller and then one shorter. Yeah. That blew me away when we first saw it. Oh, that was, that was wow. just, wow. We were a mess. <laughs> we were hearing me on radio the next day and I'm just like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Up all night. I know, felt like just, a newbie. It was just so incredible. It was really good. To get know. what, you know, I see clairvoyantly on camera. Yeah, the girls are starting, as we can see here. And, you know, it was three o'clock and yeah, just looking for ghosts in the morning. <laughs> it's three a.m. Yeah, yeah. There is no physical evidence for why uh, a light right. would be. There, there wasn't a light right. there that night. There's, you see, up here you've got a, a street light up yeah, here, yeah. which is obviously a street light. Uh, it's a lamp, but, but I've. What's interesting to me is looking in this third or fourth shot. It's like you've got different faces appearing from the same areas as well. So, yes. I mean, that's how I see psychically is that it does seem to morph in, yep. for lack of a better way to describe it. And that's what we're seeing on this, showing uh, the girls and then a man's face appears. Yes, yeah, yeah. And the man's face I mean, face that's the clearest face. Is, that's the, the, the man's face. face. That's, it's, it's, it is geometrically yeah. a face. Yeah, it like, is, wow. They, they're walking across the road, the two girls, and then, uh, then there's this group there. Hmm. And, and they're and meeting just, them. And it comes out of nowhere. They're not on their own. No. I don't yeah. see any screaming faces or no. anything horrid. Anything, I mean, this no. was actually a really yeah. beautiful experience. I mean, there's I a thought. few there's a few images that seem cooler. Well, that's that one there. I mean, we yeah, see that's it there. The, the guy with the halo. Like a light comes around yeah. him like this mm -hmm. and around the back. He looks a bit Egyptian to me. He does, he does. And that's that, that symbolically works yeah. with the fact that he's, he's sort of seen up. a cat. Yeah, right. Nearly seconds beforehand. 
No, I had them as well. Oh, so I, uh, maybe. I mean, they are guardians of you know the underworld and the dead, the Egyptian mythology. Look, it's just like, wow, is that is that an angel? Mm. Uh, look, I, I, I don't come in with any pre-belief on that. Pre-existent, I mean, yeah, no. the things that I work with, I can validate. I haven't really gone into that realm. Yeah. And just to see that it makes it's me quite so, emotional that these girls might even be with in peace and just yeah. showing us, yeah, just communicating with us. Front of, you, know, you know, and they're okay. Their and, souls are okay. Yeah. The other side seems to be glowy. It doesn't really have so much of a colour. And mm. it's interesting that we've caught that on film because it is just energy. I mean, there isn't a physical form there. There mm. isn't a physical body. Yeah, and the cat, we had a thing that we, we found, and, and, and you've analysed that now. We the, haven't the, been shown that at all. What I've done is I've taken this short little two seconds worth of sound, put a filter on it, and I've just basically EQ'd it all the, all the low end out of the rumble of the car. And uh, the surrounding sounds, the surrounding sounds, that kind of stuff, yeah, and focused in yeah. on 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 the frequencies that resonate with the human voice. Wow. Okay. 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 You ready? Yep. So I'll play you the uh, the sound and just the clip without it being edited. Yeah. Oh, what's that? What's that? Look, it's a uh, it's something. Uh, it's a cat. It's a cat. It's a cat. <laughs> oh. oh. That's the interesting. That's the interesting part of it. It's like a. It's a phrase. It's a phrase. Would you like to hear the edited version? Yes. All right, we're ready. Oh, what's that? What's that? statement and it knows what's coming yeah it knows what's Let coming the photos speak for themselves and then we get that brilliant footage of 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 the group and the two girls it's it's quite impressive and it's a male voice i mean to me that sounds like an australian accent with photos yeah photos yeah. photos that the yeah. photos speak mm -hmm. and it's a male voice now i kept hearing 71 at the beginning before all this when i opened up and said hey come and talk to us yeah and I kept hearing 71 over and over again. And it's the same voice. It's I mean, I don't voice. have that recorded, but yeah. it's the same man. But lastly, this is the highlight for me. Mm -hmm. Or one of them, there's been many. Uh, you saw The Hitchhiker. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's just after we did the group. So we've just seen the analysis of that. Mm -hmm. And then a few seconds later, you saw, uh, what did you say? Yeah, it's about a hundred meters later. And um, I saw a... Oh, a white glowy figure. Uh, it was a woman, I could tell. Uh, but you know, she was sparkly. You know, I, I saw sparkles, and then even I saw her run across the road and freaked out. And, oh, I'm wow. well, taking a still shot. So let's have a look at the still shot. Okay, so you can see here that there's the orb. Okay, look, I see a little bit of legs there. Okay, especially yeah, with the definitely movie saw, Yeah, yeah. And she's more of an orb though, and we can see in the footage she's dashed across here and then across the road to have us notice her yeah. and then to go back and, and, and look find at out the footage. everything yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So. and especially with that evp oh my gosh yeah let we... the photos speak for yeah. themselves oh <laughs> you've seen the evidence you decide
a type one like type one. <laughs> you sit down That's and rock. Behind the scenes at the Paranormia. <laughs> Let's go again. All right. All right. So you go. Um, welcome to behind the scenes at, par- at the Paranormal. Welcome at to the Paranormal Reality. Welcome to uh, behind the scenes with Paranormal Reality. This is behind the scenes with Paranormal Reality Team. I'm Will. And I'm Hoogs. Crikey. <laughs> <laughs> Crikey.